kid always wanted to go to Italy. Ah! Venice. Venice. So gorgeous. I can't believe people live here. Oh, oh. Okay. Here we go! <laughs> we held up umbrellas to shield from the cameras. This is gorgeous. Trinity Fountain. Super chaotic. Oh, we're drawing a crowd. Yeah. I want to like attention. <laughs> yeah. Let it roll! The Vatican. We thought it'd be fun to do a cooking Last lesson. Thing. Okay. That was the first time I had seen one of them hurt each other. Uh oh. The aqueduct water. <laughs> you guys are gonna get each other. My name's Abby Hensel, and I'm Brittany Hensel. We are 22 years old. People have been curious about us since we were born, for obvious reasons. We're, we're identical, identical twins who are conjoined. But our parents never let us use that as an excuse. While life as a conjoined twin sometimes has its challenges, I like this, but I don't need it. We were raised to believe that we could do anything we wanted. So we do. We like to think that the most amazing thing about us is we're just like everyone else. We really are normal, but I'm definitely more normal than Brett. Whatever. Anyways, this is the story of our normal, regular life. Well, our normal, conjoined life. This is our life. We're going to Italy! We were traveling with our friends, Aaron and Becca. We decided to go on a trip after graduation. So excited, excited for pasta. pasta. I had always wanted to go to Italy. It is also a place that Aaron has never been. Yeah, what are you looking forward to most? Being outside. Being outside? Being outside. Oh, being outside. We decided that we would go to Venice first for three days, and then the last two days in Rome. Should we practice some Italian? Italian. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. I think it's to the right up here. Okay, cool. Let's go. Hi. Hi. Do we have two rooms? Yes. yes. Please. Oh, 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 oh. oh wow. This is beautiful. So I want to look at this. Yeah, it was a beautiful terrace. Oh, my yeah, gosh. Names of, uh, our hotel was beautiful, um, very classy. Um, it was right off of one of the um, ports in San Marco, so that was kind of cool. Well, let the adventure begin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or continue. Or no, continue. continue. When we first got there, we got settled in the hotel, and then we thought it'd be fun to do a gondola ride. Very excited for a gondola. Yes, I am very excited. Yeah. Are you? Yeah, I am. It will be fun. We love doing our makeup, but it's definitely our favorite part of the day. It's something that we have down into a routine. Stripes, skirt, and black belt. It's not something that we discuss or talk about. It's just grab and go, grab and go, and get it done quick. Are you guys almost ready? Yeah, let's just blow dry my hair. It's going to blow up. Is it hot? Mm -mm. Just go quick. Watching them do their hair is fascinating to me. Brittany will start doing her hair and Abby will just like start adjusting it. And it's like, how did you know that's what she's going for? I can't even always like figure out how to do my own hair symmetrically, so I don't know how they do each other so well. Okay, let's go. Let's put a little gondola. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Please. Yeah. So we go. This will be fun. This is gonna be super great. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hey, how are you doing? This is gorgeous. It was a great way to see Venice because there's so many like little like hidden alleys and stuff like that. Just made their family photo album. Oh, oh. <laughs> here we go! What? We held up umbrellas to kind of shield from the cameras, and obviously, when we're filming, it has more of a draw to it. So we use umbrellas as heater blockers. This is so cool. Each bullet had. We want to drive the gondola. Yes. Oh, yes. No. We can do it then. Yes. Do it. 
You can do it. Attention, give it hand. It's only for a picture. Okay, okay. Attention to my office. Uh oh, uh oh. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Smile. This is so great. This is so cool. Oh, this is really cool inside right here. I can't believe people live here. My gondola ride was really fun, really fun. It was actually really unique. It was a great experience. It's a neat little ride. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely beautiful. We thought it'd be fun to do a cooking lesson. lesson. Challenge. And Brittany. Oh, wow. Whoa. Whoa. The hardest thing was probably making the gnocchi. This is not. Oh, okay. Ah. Brittany cut Abby's finger. That was the first time I had seen one of them hurt each other. Uh oh. So on our second day in Venice, we thought it'd be fun to do a cooking lesson. lesson. On the water again. We had to take a ferry, and um, then we get over to the correct island. Oh, and cool. And then we yeah. walked down Good to her food. house. Oh, oh wow. gosh, this is absolutely oh, beautiful. What do you think? Are you ready to cook? Let's cook. Yeah. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Hello. Oh, Hello. 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 And Brittany. America was the cooking teacher, and she owns her own catering business, and she runs a bed and breakfast at her um, in her home. Very good. Ooh la la. So it was really good. It was super, super Italian. Ooh la la. OK, so we are going to do uh, some typical uh, pasta dish, okay. Italian. Uh, and then we do the traditional tiramisu, because I know oh, you yes. like it. Yes. Oh. Yes. And olive oil. Okay, what you can start to do is to squeeze these potatoes. Go directly here. Oh, wow. Oops. Okay. You just press the potatoes, squeeze the... No, no, yeah. squeeze is not. Oh, okay. So you don't want to over-squeeze. Would you like to get dirty? Yeah, okay. <laughs> just incorporate little by little, and you will see that little by little will hold together. Look like you already made in your life. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing very well. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Too much? Maybe. Yeah. The hardest thing was probably um, making the gnocchi. The idea is uh, to roll like that. Oh, oh, wow. To make a kind of scoop. This is the difficult part. I control the right side, I control the left side. Um, we're very co coordinated. Um, typically don't have a problem. Gnocchi was hard for all of us. It was just, it was crazy. This is very flat, this is like a steak. <laughs> kind of made a joke out of it and we moved on to the next thing. Bravissima. It's gnocchi. Very good. You keep going. The girls were, I think, better with more of the complex, multitasking, multi-step things because they're so used to multitasking all the time. That was kind of fun that we each had our own thing that we were really good at. We could do this. <laughs> Roll with the best one. I think the best part of cooking was we made it a team effort and we all did a part of it. Look how beautiful your first time. Oh, nice. Deep, this has to be called espresso coffee, very concentrated. You just the easiest this. thing was or, probably making the tiramisu. Yeah. So you said dip the You can't go wrong with dipping a cookie and, and then placing it on, <laughs> on top of each other. And then we place a little chocolate shave. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ah! Uh oh. Brittany cut Abby's finger when they were shaving chocolate for the tiramisu. It's okay. Just push. That was the first time I had seen one of them hurt each other. They were so still positive about it. They handled it well, went and washed it off real quick and jumped right back in there. Oops. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm so okay. Oh, Hello. Thank you. Bon appetit. Thank you. Okay. Oops. No. You like it? But the food was incredible. Phenomenal. We enjoyed it so much. Yeah, mm -hmm. the ravioli is still my favorite. That's really good. I like that. Fast. Yeah. <laughs>
I'm really picky, and I'm not. I like most things. I don't like Alfredo. Really? No. Like, I can probably eat, like, kids' food all the time. Where I like, I like a lot of meat, and I like potatoes, and homemade food, and just stuff like that. <laughs> There's always something that each of us like, like better together, so we just compromise. Oh, here we go. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I am, wow. Typically, we share a plate, just because we don't need to eat two full servings, because our stomachs aren't like two full sizes, they're just a little bit smaller. Oh, thank you. But she gave us two helpings of tiramisu, and you really can't pass that up. So we had two. Mm. That's really good. Like heaven. <laughs> <laughs> they both love sweets, and so that was funny because they'll eat one meal or like one glass of water, but then when the dessert comes out, they both take their own. You just eat tiramisu every day. <laughs> every night. Well, let's toast, I suppose. Toast to uh, being good chefs. Good job. Have a fun Italian day. <laughs> <laughs>
The train ride is four hours from Venice to Rome, but it did not feel like that, and it was nice just to sit and relax. Yes. We slept some of the way and just kind of vegged. What do you think Rome's going to look like? I don't know. You know what I'm pumped to say, though. When in Rome, when in Rome, when in Rome, do as the Romans. Mm -hmm. It's the Egyptians, but it's OK. Oh. <laughs> Epic fail. Let's go get gelato. Finally. So when we got to Rome, we got all settled and checked into our hotel. And then we decided that we wanted gelato, because that's like what Italy is known for. Left or right? Straight. 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 The only I think it's just down here. And then we made it to Gelati, which is the gelato shop. The order from here. It really is. Hello. The gelato place we went to, they had so many different flavors and we're trying to pick different combinations so we could try each other's. It was fun. Ooh, thank you. Oh, that looks great. Yeah. Becca's oh looks phenomenal. Let's eat it. Let's eat it. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so good. We got orange and then we got pistachio which I Brittany wanted. Well. Yep. And then we got peach because we're obsessed so with peach lately. Yeah, it was really good. We liked, we liked it a lot. lot. We really liked gelato. Hey. Oh, no. oh, oh my gosh. Hi. 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 So the gelati store is very um, famous and like big time like actresses, actresses and actors and important people were there. No, this is me. That's you. Yeah. That's ben this is Ben Stiller. Ben Stiller. Yeah. And the owner was showing us the book that all these famous Ooh. people signed. Yeah. Michelle Obama. Wow. Yes. Wow. And, uh, and this is Cameron Diaz. Oh, wow. Cheryl Stone. And it was funny because Becca was trying to ask him questions. Yes, yes. Okay, so we have a question for you. What makes gelato different than ice cream? Huh? What makes gelato different than ice cream? Uh, and, uh, and he was so proud of his book that he completely like didn't even acknowledge it. And uh, that we were thought that was hysterical. It was so funny. That's yes. great. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Was that? Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you for the visit. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Oh wow. Well, that this was, was fun. This was so cool. successful. This is great. Best job. Nice job. After we ate gelato, we went to Trinity Fountain. Um, it was gorgeous. This is really beautiful. This is gorgeous. Super chaotic, though. A lot of people. Let me in the middle. Yeah. Excuse me, would you take a picture of us? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we're drawing a crowd. We don't really mind crowds so much. But obviously a camera crew draws attention, attention. and we draw attention mm -hmm. in, in mm -hmm. ourselves. Mm -hmm. So that definitely doubled the attention. And we don't like attention. Mm -hmm. Maybe not right here. I'm amazed at how it doesn't get them bogged down and they're still so courageous to go to new places and so brave and just kind of let a lot of things slide off their back and don't think twice about it. Okay. Sure. Sure, yeah. yeah. It's just something that they've grown accustomed to and kind of deal with it as it comes. Two, three. Oh. <laughs> That's fun. So we saw it, got our pictures, and enjoyed it, and then headed out. Okay. Let's go. 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 What do you wish for? I can't tell what you wish for, otherwise it won't come true. Where's the earring? Right here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We've never ridden a Vespa, so we really didn't know what, what to, to expect. expect. Oh my goodness. Traffic in Rome is very crazy. When in Rome! When in Rome. We were kind of each able to just experience Italy in a new way. You guys are going to get So we knew that we didn't have much time in Rome, so we decided to take a Vespa tour just to get around the city really fast and see everything Hi, that we could see. Hi, nice to meet nice you, to meet I'm you. Annie. Our guide was Annie and it's a small world because she was actually born and raised in Minnesota, Minnesota which is where we live. Nice to meet you. So it was really, really cool. cool and she was really cool. Okay. So um, let's go, let's get you some helmets. Okay. All right. There we go. You're gonna see a lot today on Good. the tour. You guys love helmets. Here we go. <laughs> 
<laughs> We've never ridden a Vespa, so we really didn't know no, what, what to expect. expect. Um, we know that traffic in Rome is very crazy. Oh my goodness. We don't like like motorcycles and jet skis, or I do, but Bernie doesn't. So we don't want them too much. Oh my god. <laughs> so we were a little nervous at first, but we got used to it fast. <laughs> So our first stop was the Colosseum, which I believe is one of the seven wonders of the world. We're basically facing the center of ancient Rome. So, wow. The Colosseum was gorgeous. Like, the architecture was amazing. And just, like, the ancient aspect of it was so cool. Um, and this is where they had the gladiator games, the wild beast fights. They yeah. had musical and religious events. Um, all the games were free. Uh, it just depended on your class and society, okay? So cool. do, you want another, do you want another photo here? Yeah. I'll do yeah. more of a close-up. Perfect. Sure. Looking good, ladies. Oh, All right, wow. back on the Vespa? Yeah. 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 Okay. The Vespa tour is probably at least my favorite event of the whole trip. What is Rome? We were kind of each able to just experience Italy in a new way that was fast-paced, just as the girls are. This is the mall. But that had a little more protection and shield to exposure to other people. So this is the Garden of Oranges. Annie moved there seven years ago because she studied abroad and fell in love with it so much that she permanently moved there. And she knew a lot of facts about Rome and Italy in general. Um, so it was great to have her as our guide. This isn't technically a fontanella, but there's another one out there that's a nazone, which I'll tell you about. But this has the lupa, the she-wolf. So you do this. <laughs> it's fresh, clean, pure aqueduct Whoa. water. Go try it. Oh. <laughs> the, getting the water to be like the right pressure was definitely like a weird at first, because like if you push too hard, it went up your nose. If you didn't push hard enough, it didn't come out. <laughs> you guys are gonna get it. Abby and Britt didn't quite get that one right. So they got sprayed in the face. <laughs> <laughs> no. That was kind of funny to, to watch them try that. There you go. <laughs> I'll stick with the bottle. <laughs> the Vespa tour was probably the highlight for the trip for everyone. Beautiful. Just because it was something unique and different that none, none of us have done, has ever done. So we really enjoyed it. It was so fun meeting you. So it was so fun showing you around on the best bus. Can you go Minnesota? Woo! Ciao! Thank you! Bye! Thank you! That was so much fun. That was better than I ever could have That was so cool. That night we had our like final dinner kind of like chatted about the trip and like kind of um, reminisced on what our favorite part was. was. It's so much fun stuff. Mm -hmm. We really did. It's gonna be fun to look through all the pictures. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I think the trip was a good bonding experience for all of us and we became closer and that's a memory that we'll have forever. We're cool. Mm -hmm. I definitely feel closer to Abby and Britt after this trip. Just seeing how they always stay so positive gave me even more respect for them than I already had. I think that's one thing I like about Europe is like it's full, so full of culture. Mm -hmm. All in all, it was a wonderful trip. It's good to get away for a while. We had a lot to do back home um, with finding a job and finding a house and getting settled with that. So it was great that we could all take this time and go have fun. It was such a great experience. Safe travels and good friends. Cheers. Ciao.